Hi, Gemini. Here is a general look at your solar chart for April 2012. And the headline news this month is that the planet of love and material success, potentially Venus, um, enters your sign as of the 4th of April. It's also the planet which rules the arts, which is good news for you arty Geminians as well. Um, as the month kicks off, it's likely to be a more sociable phase, which is right up your street, Gemini, uh, when friendships uh, or more involvement within some sort of club, society, group, organisation, uh, but kind of the feeling, ideally, of a group of kindred spirits is more likely. Um, also, you might be giving uh, more attention to goals you wish to achieve, perhaps for a very long while now. In general, a governing factor until the 20th won't, won't be so much what you know as who you know and uh, maybe how well you all get on together. Another way this can work, the energy um, up until the 20th, is that the sun is going to be highlight highlighting a very um, uh, progressive area for you, a very forward-moving area for you. Uh, which might be a little bit futuristic, it might be a bit unconventional, it might be a bit technological, so there might be sort of technological things um, that cross your path that you need to get your head around, which you're likely to be doing more from mid-month onwards. Um, so, yes, a very uh, uh, a feature, uh, a key feature is a sociable and generally friendly vibration, uh, where professional collaborations, uh, social get-togethers, teamwork of various kinds are going to be highlighted. This is a very good vibration for, uh, as I say, networking, um, uh, furthering something that you've aspired to, potentially a time of progress for you. Um, also the time of uh, the unexpected, uh, as well as the unconventional. Um, uh, that vibe is more prevalent and you should be just your ordinary self which is flexible and adaptable and versatile as you respond to things uh, as they come up and uh, perhaps uh, look upon your experience as a bit experimental and uh, sort of we'll, we'll see how it goes, we'll suck it and see, you know. Uh, around uh, mid-month, though, you may have to work a little bit harder to make progress. That's between the 14th and 17th, thereabouts. Uh, at, especially in a social sense, uh, you've got to work harder when you cultivate others uh, uh, and um, don't lose sight of your own uh, uh, unique uh, uh, take and your own unique uh, con contribution. Um, and uh, to see what that blip might be about, then uh, just read the copy um, on my website, if you're not there already, about uh, what's happening with the long transit of Saturn uh, for you Geminians. And now, until the 4th, uh, you could find yourself having to um, work a little bit harder um, at... Uh, um, uh, putting yourself out really, uh, for, for others, uh, making yourself available even when you're not in the mood. Or another way this can work is that um, you're, something's taking root in the background and uh, this, maybe you could be bonding with somebody more in the background or s with others in some sort of closed or cloistered sort of little bubble. Uh, this is definitely a time to, yes, be available to look after others, but also a time for you to be looking after yourself and protecting your boundaries. Um, now, fortunately, as I say, from the 4th onwards, Venus enters your sign and you will have uh, her there for an extended period, providing a tremendous boost potentially to your relationships across the board um, and making it more sociable time in general, probably lots more opportunities to mix and mingle. But with Venus here, uh, you tend to be very up for that, and um, others like your style, you know. So if you really do want to apply for something or climb the ladder of its success, um, you can feel more confident with Venus in your sign. Um, but this Venus transit can provide a tremendous boost to your love relationships, uh, Gemini, as well. And um, it can make others see you, because it, it can, can help you to be um, um, 
more appealing, um, more maybe more um, be be able to um, um, uh, sell something, promote something, and um, so that's good news for business uh, as well as your personal life. Also, because it's to do with money, Venus is also to do with money, or rather uh, material resources, and of uh, which money is one, then um, you may be involving yourself more with um, buying and selling, uh, perhaps at this time. And uh, Venus planet of flow will, you know, um, not have an opinion about which way that flow is going, so just make sure that you are manifesting the flow in the direction that you want but uh, you know we all have to put our hands in our pockets sometime so um, when you do lay out cash then um, during this transit of Venus which is an extraordinarily long one it's usually only about three weeks in a sign um, then just make sure that um, that asset that you're acquiring um, or that you're working on maybe it's not you know a cash transaction um, is going to pay you back because under this transit of Venus um, it could very much you know you could choose the, the thing or work uh, with an asset which you can really capitalize upon um, in the future not just now so just make sure that flow of abundance um, is going in the right direction and um, you know that you're not that you that, that you're thinking um, more long term with it because the Venusian energy can be quite almost self-indulgent and superficial really and you find you know that more has gone from you and you haven't got much to show for it so anyway you get the idea I'm sure and uh, another thing about this transit is, it, is, is it's going to light up the area to do with your um, inborn asset which is your talent and everybody has at least one um, so and some have quite a few so um, it's just a question of, of um, appreciating and, and respecting uh, yourself so maybe it's time for you to blow the dust off or polish up a talent or in, indeed take that thing out of you that you've always really had rather a yen to try or do and 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 get on with seeing how you can make it work for you uh, so it could be a lucrative this lucrative influence could um, uh, this influence could help you open the door to um, um, getting reward for, for, for that asset whether it's an inborn talent or whether it's something um, external but also this is a very good time to be acquiring to be buying um, uh, and um, because you can get a good deal for yourself social interactions of all kinds are going to be emphasized someone could take very much a shine to you at this time which could <laughs> definitely boost your ego um, or maybe expand your social circle uh, in just in general, you know, and you're feeling better in your skin, and and, and um, uh, maybe you know, uh, come and, because how we feel inside it gets radiated, and then we get a response from the from from those around us. So this could be good news for the piggy bank as well. Um, and um, as I say, Venus is going to be there till August 2012. Not just the piggy bank, also it's about resources, you know, like the garden, you know, um, and other sorts of resources which are. On, on like basic stuff sort of level uh, until the 16th um, discussions correspondence inquiries plans ideas may be centered around your general life direction where do I go from here um, how do I proceed and by the way I need to mention that as Neptune has just uh, moved into Pisces this this confusing energy might be affecting you early Geminians where you're scratching your head and saying you know um, I've, 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 I'm, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling a little bit confused. You know, I don't quite can't quite read the signs. I don't quite know what's going on. Um, or it might not be from the inside of you. It might be the outs outside signals are mixed and 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 and, and wires are crossed. So um, that's the way it should be, <laughs> because this Neptune energy is there to sort of um, muddy the waters in a way uh, to help you, because until we have something to push against we can't get to what we want and, and we can't get to clarity so um, this is this energy is might be a little bit um, making you feel a bit uncertain about um, your self-identity you might be having a bit of an identity crisis so you will find a way now actually Neptune 
aspecting uh, early Geminian suns is, is, is actually uh, something that you can uh, take advantage of if it's handled properly because it could really um, sensitize you and make you ultra sensitive but if you're using that in an artistic or spiritual way or in another way where it's okay to feel that sensitive and not to get confused then um, you know like with charities or, 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 or something empathic or compassionate um, with your personal life it doesn't have to be with career um, then you see that can be but it might be to do with your general life direction might be to do with career for you early Geminians so anyway your mind will be very much on these sorts of things until mid-month and it will be quite uh, crucial that your communication skills are um, up to uh, it you know discussions and ideas will um, uh, be centered around um, um, understanding but also conveying uh, to others uh, and you'll be putting more mental effort into communicating and conveying ideas in as clear and competent manner as you can so as to uh, cultivate or impress you know the right people whether that's officialdom or whether those are others in uh, positions of power in some way to, to, to get to pull, pull strings for you to give you um, you know um, a boost up the ladder uh, and then uh, Mercury, your ruling planet, enters a very sociable area, um, which is where the sun is, actually, um, on the 16th. And that means that there will be more mental energy going into cultivating people, furthering your furthering something you've been waiting to do for a long time, getting together with a group, a group of others in some way, whether that's a small group, like a family group, or, or a larger group, larger groups, um, clubs or bigger organizations um, in person over the wires as well and to collaborate uh, uh, in some way or, or to, 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 to maybe not so much but it can be like that exchange information um, with um, each other and um, contacts whether they're um, passing ones or friendships uh, from the past or in fact um, you know you start making new friends at this time which is altogether likely with Venus in your sign, um, will tend to be informative. So you can be gathering information, but also disseminating information. Um, so, uh, yeah, and discussions and ideas uh, will tend to be quite future oriented, maybe a little bit unusual for you. Maybe you'll be thinking along very new and unusual lines. You know, you didn't think you would get there with your perception or your viewpoint, but here you are, you've arrived. Uh, maybe you're getting your head around something a bit technological, or maybe something that is um, um, unusual in that sense. Now, Mars is at the root of your chart and will stay there for several months more to come. It's been there since November, uh, and that means you could be busier than usual around your base of operations uh, uh, with more demands on your physical energy. Um, whatever that, wherever and whatever that base of operations is, also, this is going to be a time when you want to get your house in order, whether that's your external house or your inner house. Some of you may be working a lot harder at home and from home or on the home, or it may be to do with property matters. It may be centered around a living space or be um, not be that. It might be related to family or extended family or tribe or a neighborhood. Um, and that can be over the wires as well. well. So in, in any case, um, at the moment and until mid-April, Mars is retrograde, which tends to slow um, the action of Mars down. So it might mean that um, you, it's taking longer for you to get the, the inner feelings and needs and intuitive knowing about who or where you want to be anchored with to align with the actual external circumstances of you know, getting the green light but you're working on it um, or it might be the other way around maybe external circumstances are coming into place faster than, than, than you are with, within yourself um, so it's a bit like the salmon swimming upstream and sometimes the way is strewn with challenges and distractions which is all grist to your meal Gemini because you are such a versatile sign and um, but even you would like maybe to have a more settled feeling inside of you about you know because that is this is a very fundamental level of your chart to do with putting down foundations 
um, uh, point on the map or with someone. Uh, so lots of hustle and bustle in and around the home base, uh, lots of movement there, or should I say a base of operation doesn't necessarily have to be the home, although it can be. Um, and anyway, from mid-April you should start to be clear about what your inner and outer priorities um, are, and, and they begin to align. Um, and uh, you get things, you start to get things sorted on basic levels and connect the future at the same time as honouring the past maybe because this is also very much about bringing a thread through from the past into the present um, and hopefully in you know managing to balance things up uh, so that it suits you, you're in your comfort zone with it all. Overall Mars here until July could mean um, uh, there's more of a male energy in and around the home base uh, or um, uh, like I said you could be working uh, more from home and um, you could be having to give more attention to, to nearest and dearest or um, in, in a neighborhood um, uh, so that's not your blood family but those are people that are um, in a community around you um, but that can also be over the wires as well and and you know things are likely to be going pretty well for you Gemini because um, uh, you know I, I, uh, of course uh, this is in a general sense not having any knowledge of your of your natal chart energies only because you're getting two of the great benefics the, the beneficent energies of uh, Venus and Jupiter are both going to be in your sign for a little while they're both at the same time so Venus is coming in this month but Jupiter is coming in in June and for a little while there uh, they're going to be going along together over June, July and some of August so that's terrific um, and um, you could do very well with that you know to get something established to get something going um, under that lovely um, uh, positive vibration um, now just to just just a word of warning though Mars um, is a, a, a very impatient rather feisty energy and there could be some moments of tension which um, kind of bubble up in inside of you might be rooted in the past in some way might be patterns and baggage from the past and 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 um, you know emotional knee-jerk responses so um, just be aware of that you know it's up to you to know what you're going to do about that um, but uh, a good time to lay some of those um, demons to rest um, or skeletons in the closet shall we say <laughs> and uh, perhaps also a good time to just get on with practical tasks and um, maybe help somebody else out which just takes your attention off any inner turmoil and from the 20th you could be beavering away more in the background because um, then you're going the sun's going to be in a preparation area for you um, and uh, um, get, getting it together more in the background uh, perhaps also having to make yourself available more to another um, even when you're not in the mood but also a very good time for you to be taking um, taking some rest and, and re relaxation letting others take the strain uh, also very good news for you arty uh, or spiritual Geminians because it allows you to draw um, it allows you to be there for others or it allows you to listen to your higher guidance in some way or connect with your wise self um, and also to draw uh, raw material from your unconscious, your subconscious. And um, that's it for April. Now, um, these are the faster moving inner planets I've been speaking about here, but to get the fuller picture you want to be matching these up with the slower moving outer planets and you can read about what they're doing for your sign um, uh, under Gemini on my website if you if you're on YouTube you can go to my website and um, get you know piece piece it together a little bit more and also um, um, more um, you can source more information which is of a very general nature from the forecast I, I'm doing for um, your rising sign if you know it or for your moon sign if you know it and and then you can get even more of a, a little picture there of, of the feeling of the month ahead and I hope that's helpful and I will see you the next time.